hey everyone, this is Miss Miranda, and we are going to do a water cycle to go right along with our book at the Waterworks. The first thing you're going to need is a paper plate, and then we're going to need a black crayon. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw a big Y down your plate, and I will show you what mine looks like in a minute. Almost like a peace sign. Yay! And then you're going to go ahead, you're gonna find your definitions, and you're gonna cut out condensation. That's going to go at the very, very top of our Y. So I'm using my scissors safely. And I cut out condensation. And then you're gonna go grab your tape, or maybe you're using a glue stick and you're going to tape your definition at the very, very top of your Y. And then, so it looks something kind of like this. And then underneath it, you're gonna draw a picture that goes along with our definition. Remember, condensation is water vapor in the air. When it gets cold, it changes back into a liquid and it forms clouds. So I'm gonna draw a cloud and some sun. So if you wanna go ahead and get your yellow crayon, right underneath that definition, you're going to draw a sun, which is just a yellow circle with some lines around it. This is my sun. And then I'm gonna get my black crayon and I'm gonna draw some clouds that go along with it. So this is what mine looks like, yay! The next one we're gonna do is evaporation. So just like the last time, you're gonna to go to your list of definitions and you're gonna cut out evaporation. I cut out evaporation and now I'm going to get my tape and I warm out your glue stick if you're using a glue stick. I prefer tape. And I'm going to put evaporation down right underneath it. And then evaporation is when the sun heats up water in the, like, the lakes and the rivers and the ocean, and it turns into vapor or steam. The water vapor or the steam then goes into the air. So I'm gonna draw an ocean. You can draw a river if you want, but I'm gonna grab my blue crayon and I'm just gonna draw an ocean because I think that's the coolest. But feel free to do what you guys want. And if you really feel like you want to, you can even draw some fishies in your little blue cloud. And there is my ocean. And last but not least, we're gonna do precipitation. So again, we, you may not have to cut your definition out this time around, but I don't, you might have to. You're gonna find it, you're gonna get your tape or your glue stick. And you're gonna put it in the final part of our plate. Yay! And then, I'm gonna draw a rain cloud and going onto a tree. Remember, precipitation occurs when there's so much water has condensed that the air just can't hold it anymore. The clouds get really heavy and it falls back to the earth in like rain or snow or hail or sleet even. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get my green crayon and I'm gonna draw the top of my tree. My tree kind of looks like an ocean and that's okay. This is the top of my tree. And then I'm going to get my brown crayon. I'm going to draw a tree trunk. And then, of course, right above it, I'm going to get a gray crayon this time, and I'm going to draw a cloud. Almost like it's just about to rain. You know how the clouds kind of get gray. And then, last but certainly not least, we are going to get a blue crayon, and we're going to draw some raindrops. Or maybe you want to draw some snowflakes. Ta-da! And that, my friends, is how we make our very own water cycle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye!